It's me again, your resident girl, Gi and B, ang gandang babae ng Pura Terla. So once again, welcome to my channel, to my new subscribers. Um, welcome po, maraming salamat for subscribing. Please stay tuned for more interesting and artsy or creative contents. And para sa mga hindi pa nakaka-subscribe, hindi pa huling lahat, please click the subscribe button and i-ring mo na rin yung notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga latest happenings. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you my entire collection of vintage designer bags. But before that, let's call Marites for the introduction. But before we begin, just a little disclaimer, guys. I'm not filming this to brag, okay? Hindi para ipagyabang na, ay, meron siyang LV, ay, meron siyang LV, have this or have that. Okay, guys? Um, ayaw natin ng ganon. Zero negativity. We don't want negatrons in here. Please, girls, let's just lift and support each other kung ano man. Basta here, I'm releasing the Thrift Petita Edition to prove that thrift and class can go hand in hand, guys. Okay, so natin patagalin. Let's start off with our first bag. So, as you've seen in the video, this is the Gucci Vintage Tan Coated Canvas. Okay, so sobra siyang vintage. Inuna ko siya. Makikita niyo naman. Meron na talaga siyang signs of aging and usage. But among all the bags that I own, ito talaga yung pinaka-favorite ko. And sobra ko siyang nagamit, guys. Okay? Um, gusto ko siya kasi napaka-classic nung um, design. And nakikita niyo yung logo ng Gucci here. Also, meron din siya sa um, zipper. Ayan. Gusto ko to guys kasi wala siyang kamuka. I really don't have anything against um, mga bag na merong replicas. It's okay girls if you if you're into replica bags or you want designer bags but you can't really afford one and you opt to buy replicas instead. That's fine. It was just that gusto ko to dahil wala siyang kamuka. Kumbaga hindi siya yung madaling um, pikein. And parang ang ganda lang na you have one dahil ikaw lang ang meron nun. Parang ang gulo, diba? Hayaan nyo na. So, ito siya. Hindi siya, hindi siya talaga leather, eh. Kaya nga siya parang coated canvas. Sorry na, may kodigo ako, guys. Alam mo na, tumatanda tayo. Memo Plus, baka makalimutan natin. So, again, this is our Gucci Vintage Tan Coated Canvas. And this is my favorite among all my designer bags. It's actually bought by mom sa isang um, thrift shop. Or actually, they call it Mercato sa Italy for only 70 euros or 4k in peso. Hindi naman sama guys. Ang tagal ko na siyang nagamit. Iba rin yung tibay niya. Okay? Off to our next bag! And another one would be it's another Gucci brand. Okay? This one, I don't really know if Pwede siyang pasado siya for vintage designer bags. It's definitely designer bag, okay? Um, pero I don't think it's vintage. Kasi when we speak of vintage, guys, sabi nila kailangan at least 20 years old na daw yung bagelia mo. Um, I think this one is parang isa siya sa mga latest models ng Gucci. If alam niyo yung Sylvie ng Gucci, sobrang mahal nun. But this one is just the Sylvie leather mini chain bag. Sobrang mini guys. Ultimo phone, hindi kasha. That's what I really hate about this bag. Sobrang limited lang. Ang, ang kaya ko lang naman na ilaman dito is yung white flower ko, ATM cards. Yun lang guys. Mga importante lang. So this is the Sylvie leather mini chain bag. It's actually a gift from my mom. And um, pag, nung nag-check ako online, it's 42,000 in peso plus tax pa guys or 975 US dollars. Gusto niyo pag ganito ko para ko may the dark. 975 US dollars. So mahal siya. Maharlita siya. If you will 
uh, buy it online. Pakita ko lang. Pero may mga pinapare naman akong video sa inyo. And, um, binili lang to ni Mother for 180 euro or 10,000 in peso. Again, guys, hindi tayo yamanin, but investment pieces kasi ang mga designer bags. So, ang binabayaran mo is yung tibay niya. Ito yung tatak niya. Gusto mo makamawak-wak. Lagot ako sa nanay ko. This one. Kung hindi mo masyado nakita, I already prepared a video slide for you. So, again, kaya sa, kaya sa serif ni tita kasi from 42,000 pesos plus tax, nabili lang siya for 10. Kiyaw! Hindi ko rin naman siya masyadong nagagamit. Pag mga special occasions, ganun ko lang siya nagagamit, guys. Bilang sobrang liit niya, pwede siyang bag ni Duarfina. Okay, next bag! Ganun pa si ate. May pa-production. Low-cost production pa. This is Prada Milano. So, it's black. Isa rin to sa mga gamit na gamit na bags. Ko, actually, this is like my everyday bag. Na naman siyahan ko ng lipstick. Sorry, mother. Um, nung nag-tingin ako or nag-check ako online, this is called leather tote or nylon with leather handle. Prada bag. Okay? So, kung naguluhan kayo, huwag kayo mag-alala. Naguluhan din ako. Basta Prada siya and black, and yung handle niya is leather. Tingnan natin yung zipper, patpakita ko lang. Ganyan. And, ito yung patakles niya, Prada, and yung loob niya, naku, nandiyan pa yung brush ko. Pati yung loob niya, bukod sa madumi, may tatak din ng Prada. Ayan, may mga ganyan-ganyan siya, guys. Prada, Prada. That's how you know that it's really original. Sobrang gusto ko tong bag na to kasi, hindi siya yung gas-gasin. Ayan, no? Hindi siya gasgasin because it's not leather. Um, and ang dami niyang pwedeng malaman. And ang pinakamaganda pa doon, um, nabili lang to ni mommy sa isang suking senyora niya sa Via Italia for 100 euro or 5,600 in peso. And I, when I checked online, it's actually 1,200 euro or 67,000 peso. Let that sink in. Kagaya ng paulit-ulit ko sinasabi kanina, kahit pa maging milyonarya ako, I will never spend 60,000 on a bag. Nothing against girls na can afford it and would really want those investment pieces. I understand. Kaya nga tayo bumibili ng mga ganito. Pero ang nare-reiterate natin dito sa vlog is that we don't really want anything too expensive or too pricey. So, of course, itong mga ito nabibili siya sa thrift shop because they're already pre-loved or second hand. So again guys, my Prada bag. So for the next bag, I think designer collection bags or vintage designer collection bags wouldn't be complete without LV on it. So I have the LV Manhattan. And shout out pala kay Ate Rhea Santa Balmores. Thank you so much, Achi, for lending me the bag. This um, bag used to be mine, okay? So, hindi ko na siya masyadong nagagamit. And for a time being, nandun na lang talaga siya sa ilalim ng um, kama. Ina-enjoy na lang yung mga sapot doon. And nakalagay na lang siya sa maleta. So, I decided to Um, sell it kasi si Ate Rhea sobrang maingat siya sa mga gamit and she loves vintage pieces as well. So, itong LV Manhattan PM handbag na to when I checked online nagkakahalaga pa siya. First pre-love da guys. This is pre-love cost would be 2,000 US dollars or a freaking 108,000 peso guys. Okay? But mama bought it Um, sa shoe shop, shoe repair shop, pinabenta siya ng isang senyora for 180 euro or 10,000 in peso. Lahat ng bags na i-feature ko in today's episode, nothing really above 10,000 guys. Okay? So, this is the LV Manhattan. Ayan. Open natin siya. Ito talagang qualified na qualified for a vintage piece guys. Kasi Um, sila yung mga LV before na wala pang codes and velvet red pa yung loob. See this one? LV talaga yung 
zipper niya. It's not YKK. Pero yung YKK, it's also original, guys. Okay? Sila ning uh, partner zipper suppliers ng LV bags. At siya, ha? May pa 5 pesos ka pa dito, ha? Eto, pati yung mga zipper niya. So, as I've said, these bags have no code yet, but they're known the for velvet. the velvet um, red tela inside. So, yan. Yan siya. This is very original. So, minsan, stay tuned din kayo pag tinutopak ako. Nagtinda talaga ako ng mga gamit ko. Kasi, um, how ironic that I have these bags, pero hindi talaga ako mahilig magsusuot ng bags pag lumabas, guys. Gusto ko yung nakabulsa lang yung pera, ganyan, or hawak-hawak ko lang yung phone. Kaya dyan kami lagi nag-aaway ng asawa ko. Hindi ako gumagamit ng bag. Again, this is our LV Manhattan bought for only 10,000 pesos. But online, you can check it out. It's 2,000 USD or 100,000 pesos. Okay? Grabe, no? Yung pagka-leather niya, andyan pa rin. And habang tumatagal itong mga ganitong pieces, lalong gumaganda. Like that, nandito na tayo sa ating last bag, which is dun, 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 the Burberry Beige Check Canvas Leather Drawstring Bucket Bag. Ang haba, di ba? Ang haba ng pangalan. Pwede mong Burberry na lang. So, this one is Burberry. And, um, pakita ko muna yung bag bago tayo magpukuda. This one is Burberry. It's Drawstring Bucket Bag. This is just very new. Kadadagdag lang niya, guys. Wala pa siyang, hindi pa siyang nagmamonsery sa akin. And, Actually, hindi ko pa siya nagagamit since uh, may kahabaan. Hindi ko alam kung ang mag adjust ba yung bag o ako ang magpapatangkad para bumagay. <laughs> but, bago lang to guys. Hindi ko pa siya nagagamit. So, ito siya. Bucket bag. Um, si ano natin inside. Tour ko kayo inside. Sorry, nandito pa yung mga kakalatan niya. Key. This one is the tatak niya. Burberry London made in Italy. This one. So, hanggang loob, leather na leather yan. Shout out po pala because I bought this, or mama bought this in the dressing room PH. I will attach their Facebook link on the description box. So, for vintage pieces and gusto niyo mga original, they are very honest sellers. They will be grading your bags if it's grade A or AB. And very honest sila sa condition ng bag if may scratch na as is nyong marireceive yung bag nyo. Kung paano nila describe sa kanilang mga online selling. Okay? So, remember guys, the dressing room PH. We bought this bag sa the dressing room PH for 10,000 in peso installment pa yan guys. Three gifts but when I searched online, I saw that it was 488 US dollars 50% off pa yun guys ha. So, it, ibig sabihin 26,000 times 2 in peso. Okay? At luxury closet. Tinignan ko. Anyway, nag-attach naman ako ng mga videos ng um, comparison ng ating mga on-hand na bags and yung versus kanilang mga online prices online. Okay? So, makakita tayo na mag-realize talaga natin na nakakana tayo ng mga thrift find since we bought it at a lower price. Okay? okay. So, I hope you enjoyed um, this vlog about my entire collection of vintage designer bags, okay? Before we end, of course, I'd like to thank my avid supporters, my friends, and family. Um, na walang sawang to support up from zero subscribers to 170. And now we're on to 300. Maraming maraming salamat po. So, mag greetings, greetings muna tayo. Unani ko na my important friends. Shout out to Trace Villanueva, my lost delicious friend. From you as of A and Kathy Capitolo, mothers na mga yan guys, pero ang figures, mmm, vavavum ang mga yan. And next, a shout out din kay Eliza Kapimpin, sorry nilipad yung copy ko, Micaela Kapimpin de la Cruz, and Miko Kabakungan. Ewan ko kung sino ba yung mga yan, pa shout out ng pa shout out, ang kukulit. Chos, cousins kayo mga yan guys, okay? Gusto yung cousins. And friends from the south, of course, we have Jason J. Pobleta na nagsabing pakiiklian ate Aix ang ating mga vlog. Masusunod, Jason, he wants our vlog, uh, he wants our vlogs to just be about 15 minutes para daw mas madumami yung mga subscribers natin. So, thank you, Aizen, for that tip. And gusto mo kantaan kita? Foolish, ha? Ah! 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 Ah!
para sa iyo. And next, shout out din pala sa aking Mamu Grace na all out support all the way from Cavite. Grace, Aunt Taviana Roble, my Mamu. So, yun lang guys. Thank you so much for supporting. I don't really want to take so much of your time. Um, stay tuned. I'll be releasing our budget beauty series soon. So, magbe makeup tutorials na tayo. So, I hope you keep on watching special the girls. Mm -hmm. And please, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and ilike mo na rin naman tong video to para hindi naman sayang yung pagkukodako dito sa kainitan ng araw. Okay? Bye! Till our next vlog!